Hey guys, it's Mike again. I don't typically do two videos in one day, but NASA just made a huge announcement yesterday and I just wanna talk about it here. So if you haven't heard, yesterday NASA announced that there could be possible alien life thriving on Enceladus, one of Saturn's 62 moons. Now the reason NASA believed that alien life may exist on Enceladus is because one of NASA's spacecrafts has picked up evidence that hydrogen is present under Enceladus's icy surface, meaning that the moon could potentially be a livable place for microbes or other forms of life. Enceladus is the sixth largest moon of Saturn and is almost 800 million miles from Earth. And NASA spacecraft Cassini, a sophisticated robotic spacecraft, has been exploring Enceladus and the rest of Saturn since 2005. In 2005, Cassini was able to pick up plumes of vapor coming from the deep fissures in the moon's surface using mass spectrometers. This made scientists believe that although Enceladus was freezing from the surface up, there was liquid water underneath the planet's thick sheet of ice. Then in 2015, it was discovered that Enceladus wobbled when it orbited around Saturn, which meant that its outer shell wasn't completely frozen to the pit. Experts then concluded that a global ocean had to exist under the ice. Since the plumes on Enceladus were the only way for scientists to examine the reservoir underneath the moon, Cassini was sent into a deep dive through one of the moon's plumes to do some further investigation. Turns out that the plumes revealed the presence of hydrogen, the final piece of the puzzle following the discovery of water in an ocean under Enceladus's surface. According to Professor Hunter Waite of the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, Saturn's moon Enceladus has an ice-covered ocean and a plume of material erupts from cracks in the ice. The plume contains chemical signatures of water-rock interaction between the ocean and a rocky core. We find that the most plausible source of this hydrogen is ongoing hydrothermal reactions of rock containing reduced minerals and organic materials. According to researchers, this finding published today in the journal Science means that the only plausible source for hydrogen is chemical reactions that occur between the water below Enceladus's icy surface and the rocks on the ocean floor. Hydrogen can mix with carbon dioxide, which was also found present in the plumes on the moon, and create methane, a food source for microbes or other living species. Methane is also a food source for organisms living in the deep seas on Earth, which means that Saturn's sixth moon may just have the same single-celled organisms with which life began on Earth. Mary Wojtek, senior astrobiologist at NASA headquarters, said last night, this is a new frontier because this is the first time we have seen evidence of an alien food source in an ocean not on Earth. According to the space agency, the building blocks of life are water, an energy source, and size elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Water has been discovered already, and the energy source comes from the rocks at the core of Enceladus that are tidally heated to 90 degrees Celsius by friction created through the gravitational pull from Saturn. As for the sixth needed elements, although the last two elements, phosphorus and sulfur, have not yet been found, scientists believe they are indeed present because Enceladus's core is chemically similar to that of many meteorites that do contain the two elements. This discovery is a huge breakthrough because if Enceladus, an icy moon that's 800 miles away from Earth, has signs of life, what about the planets and moons that are much closer to Earth? And it just so happens that the Hubble telescope has also seen similar vapor flumes on Jupiter's moon Europa. So NASA has created a new mission called the Europa Clipper mission to search for life on Europa in 2020. Although this discovery doesn't really confirm the existence of aliens, it does bring us one step closer to the truth that is out there. And I mentioned before in previous videos, when NASA is out looking for signs of alien life, they're really not looking for intelligent beings. They're not looking for little green men on Mars. They're actually looking for microbes. Personally, I think they should be looking for both. I mean, microbes, it's just not that exciting. I'm sorry. I mean, does anybody really not believe at all that a single organism, a single microscopic living warm looking organism exists somewhere in the universe? I'm just thinking we're aiming a little bit small here. That's all. But guys, let me know what you think. Are you excited about this new announcement?